Welcome to Brand Wars. <laughs> We gathered thousands of different data points across multiple different sources and compared 108 brands across 14 different gear categories, things like tents, sleeping bags, hiking shoes, trekking poles, all the usual suspects to ultimately make the call and determine which brands make the best of each type of gear. And stay tuned for the end because that's when we're gonna go over the big awards and prizes and there are gonna be some results that I promise will surprise you. You're gonna be surprised. The truth is I'm not a statistician, y'all. I'm not a data analyst. I have decent skills. I can work with a spreadsheet. And this is not about my opinion. This is the opinion of thousands of hikers and dozens of gear reviewers all smushed into one. So don't come at me in the comments. Let's talk about brands for a minute. Like I said, we had 108 different brands in this study. We had a pretty good mix of some of the big guys and the cottage brands. We had 38 cottage brands built into the study. I'm really happy with the blend of brands that we got because I think it shows that there was great gear being made all over the place. And I think we did a pretty good job of giving those smaller brands a fair shake in this study. So Chase, tell us about the data sources. How did you actually set the study up? Where did you get your data from? First up, we have our trusted gear review sites. So the three sites that we decided to go with were Outdoor Gear Labs, Clever Hiker, and Section Hiker. Okay, Chase, so we have gear review sites, that's great, but what about like real world use by real world hikers? I'm glad you asked. We partnered up with our friends over at Halfway Anywhere who do a lot of different things from gear reviews to these really amazing surveys that they send out at the end of the hiking season for the PCT and the CDT. We took the 2022 results for the PCT and CDT surveys and baked those results into our analysis. For 2022, there were 953 completed surveys for the PCT. The average mileage completed was 1,586 miles. For the CDT survey results for 2022, there were 235 completed surveys and the average completed mileage was 1,192 miles. When it came to categories of gear, we wanted to go big. We didn't want to just focus on the big three. We wanted to review all 14 of these different categories of gear, which took weeks to do. It took forever. <laughs> But ultimately we wanted to give you a broad view of what different brands are good at and we wanted to make sure that we captured everything. The last thing we need to do before we get into the winners, which is up next, is go over the points. How did we score this thing? Across these 14 different categories, we gave out points to different brands for how many times they showed up in the top 10 lists. So if it was in a top 10 list from a given gear reviewer, it got one point. If it was in a top 10 list of all the people who liked the PCT and did the survey, it got one point. If a given brand showed up multiple times, it would get multiple points for each time it showed up in the top 10. Lastly, if it was the overall top choice, whether a gear review site specifically called out this is the overall best option, or if it was the number one choice amongst through hikers, that got three points. So a given brand, in some cases this happened, a given brand would do really, really well in a given focus area where it had multiple different pieces of gear that all were in the top 10. Our first category is backpacks. As you can see, the race for the best backpack was very tight with a tie ultimately at the top between Hyperlite and Gossamer gear. If we looked at all of the backpacks that received a top choice pick, we had Granite Gear, Gossamer Gear, Hyperlite, and ULA. So this was a really competitive category. Ultimately, we're gonna give the win in this category to Hyperlite. Hyperlite was rated higher by hikers of the CDT and the PCT when compared to Gossamer Gear. So based on that real world experience, we gotta go with Hyperlite on this one. Shelter is up next. Which brand are you gonna trust when it comes to keeping you safe from the elements. Ultimately, the battle for the top spot in the shelter category came down to two of the big dogs, Big Agnes and Nemo, with Big Agnes just edging out Nemo for the top spot. z -Packs also put up a valiant effort with their ultralight shelters, and if you asked PCT hikers what the most common shelter was out on trail, it was the z -Packs Duplex. For the CDT, the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL2 was the most used shelter. Sleeping bags and quilts are up next. How are you gonna stay warm in your tent? Ultimately, we decided to merge these two categories together because our data sources were split. Some of them had these two categories merged and some of them didn't. So for data integrity's sake and make sure that we're being fair, we had to combine these two together. As you can see, Western Mountaineering just edged out Feathered Friends for the top spot. 
Friends of Friends was a very, very highly rated sleeping bag amongst gear reviewers. Also worth noting is that REI made a really good showing coming in third here, largely thanks to their Magma line of sleeping bags. Fun fact, when it comes to sleeping bags and quilts in our analysis, Enlightened Equipment, one of those cottage brands, had the most used sleeping bag or quilt on the PCT. Shifting over to sleeping pad, which all experienced backpackers will tell you, is a really important part of your gear when it comes to keeping warm at night. Any guesses on who won this category? Because it was a blowout. Thermarest utterly annihilated all other brands when it came to sleeping pads. Six of the 10 most common pads on the PCT and the highest rated pads were made by Thermarest and seven out of 10 of the most common pads on the CDT and also the highest rated were also Thermarest. In addition to that real world use, every gear reviewer, section hiker, clever hiker, and outdoor gear labs all picked a Thermarest pad as the best pad. Stove is up next. What are you gonna to use to make that coffee in the morning? Because I don't know about you, but I need coffee. Similar to the sleeping pad category, but not quite as dominant, MSR truly ran away with this one, doubling the points of second place, which was Jetboil. Also, all of the gear sites picked MSR products as their number one stove. I knew you could do it. Mwah. Let's talk about chairs next and where you're gonna park that Heine at the end of a long day. Heine? Really? And we have another tie, everyone. Big Agnes and REI tying for the top spot here with Helinox just one point shy. Ultimately, we're gonna give the win to Big Agnes for this one because the only differentiating factor between REI and Big Agnes is that Big Agnes actually won one of the gear review sites, Editor's Choice. Water filter is up next. Which brand are you gonna to trust to clean your water? Sawyer edges out Catadine for the top spot in the water filter category and also had the top choice by all gear review sites and was the most used on the PCT. Catadine came in a close second here thanks to their very popular Be Free water filter. That's where they got all of their points. But at the end of the day, Sawyer takes the cake on this one. I'm sorry, Catadine. I love you both. Hiking boots are up next. What are you strapping on your feet for those extra gnarly adventures? Solomon easily beats all the competition in the hiking boots category. It was by far and away the winner here. It also had the top pick boots by Outdoor Gear Labs and Clever Hiker. Honestly, PCT and CDT hikers just don't use boots. Too heavy, they don't dry out. I don't use boots either, but if you do, Solomon. Sticking with what's on your feet, we're going with hiking shoes next. Solomon easily wins again. La Sportiva coming in runner up for both hiking boots and hiking shoes. Solomon, just handling business when it comes to hiking boots and hiking shoes. Seems like they are the clear winner. Good try, La Sportiva, good try. Last category when it comes to what you put on your feet, trail runners. This is what all the PCT and CDT through hikers use. Wow, wow, wee wow. Solomon does it again. They have thoroughly dominated the footwear categories. This time they beat out three runner-ups in Hoka, Sassani, and once again, La Sportiva. Gear sites really loved the Solomons across all footwear categories. Topo, Ultra, Hoka, and Brooks were the most popular amongst through hikers. Headlamps, how are you gonna be able to see at night? You ever turn your headlamp on and been surprised by what you find? Click, click. This is a really close category, but at the end of the day, Black Diamond edges out Petzl for the top spot. Like I said earlier, if you have a lot of products in a given category and they're all good, your odds of winning that category are pretty high. Kind of a defect of the study, maybe, yeah. We'll keep it in mind for the next one. Can you guess this category? Trekking poles up next. Two titans of the trekking pole industry go head to head here with Black Diamond and Lecky. Ultimately, Black Diamond edges out Lucky for the top spot, but both brands had several really high quality trekking poles. Black Diamond had five of the top 10 most used trekking poles on the PCT, but Lucky had the highest rated trekking poles on the PCT. Down Jacket is up next. What's that? Oh. No, they didn't win. This entire category was won by a single jacket, the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer 2. It was a top rated jacket for the Outdoor Gear Labs, it was a top rated jacket for Clever Hiker, and it was the most used jacket on the PCT. Patagonia put in a good effort with several high quality jackets, but you just can't take down the Ghost Whisperer. 
The Feather the Friends EOS was the highest rated jacket on the PCT, and the Mont Bell Alpine White was the highest rated on the CDT. How is it raining inside? Yeah. Rain jackets up next. There was a lot of competition in this category with many brands scoring well, but ultimately Arcteryx shows that they are the kings of the rain jacket, keeping hikers dry and easily winning this category. It is time for the awards. Thanks for making it so far into the video, everybody. I hope your brand won something, maybe multiple things. We're about to get into the awards, but if you like this content, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. We would love to have you. And then if you have feedback or thoughts, Put them in the comments below. I'm curious what you think about this content. I'm curious what you think about the study. Do you think I messed it up? Okay, maybe don't share too many comments about that. But yeah, leave some comments. The first award we're giving out today is the Happy Feet Award. The Happy Feet category is gonna go to the brand that did the best when we combine hiking boots, hiking shoes, and trail runners. If you watch this video all the way through, then you probably could have guessed this one. But Solomon comes out on top with 19 total points. La Sportiva takes the silver medal with 10 points. And Hoka comes in third thanks to their amazing trail runners. Oh, man, turn the light off. Jeez. Oh, oh. Okay, so next up, we have the sleep like a baby category, which is a combination of the best sleeping bag and quilt plus the best sleeping pad. Which brand is gonna help you sleep well at night? Good night. Turn the light off, man. Come on, turn the light off. Thermal Rest is the runaway winner here with 27 points, in large part thanks to their complete and utter dominance when it comes to sleeping pads. Nemo does really well here as well with 15 points, and then Feathered Friends comes in third with 13 points. Warm and dry is up next. We combine down jackets with rain jackets and ultimately come up with a brand that's gonna do the best job at keeping you warm and dry. Okay, we could have called this the best jackets category. Wow, that's kind of boring. Warm and dry. Patagonia takes the top spot with their array of high quality jackets, able to dethrone mountain hardware despite the success of the Ghost Whisperer 2. Tied for third place in the bronze medal are REI and Arcteryx. Next up is the Jack of All Trades Award. This is a big one. This is for the brand that had the most cumulative points across all 14 gear categories. So this brand is really good at a lot of things. Hence, the Jack of All Trades. Nailed it. REI pulls off the win for the Jack of All Trades Award. This is really indicative and really cool, I think, because the Jack of All Trades is meant to be given to a brand that's great at a lot of things, but not necessarily the best at any of them. And REI really encapsulates that. They didn't win any single category, but they performed well in all of them, making them the winner of the Jack of All Trades Award. In second place, we had Nemo with 31 points. And then z -Packs came in third with 25 points. Hats off to z -Packs. They make a lot of really high quality gear and they knocked it out of the park. They were the number one cottage brand by far. So hats off to them. Now that you're all hyped up on gear, click on this link over here to find some of the best affordable gear options out there. And if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe.